No, we don't. <laughs> That's the best one so far. She ate the cell phone and it's ringing inside of her body. She's freaking out. That is the best reaction so far. We've had a lot of them, but that was good. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Lab Up to Dead. I'm your host, the bird. Notice Falcon, I have apparently the, the zombie pincushion in front of us here, redhead. We've lost quite a few zombies, sometimes unexpectedly, sometimes, um, you know, because I really wanted to get them lost so we could try something new. But um, we have a new one here, and hopefully she lasts here a while. If not, we have plenty of zombies apparently to choose from. It is a zombie apocalypse after all. So for you, I got new items today. We have a cell phone, we have a dead kitty, and a grenade. I would probably imagine that the grenade would be an instant kill. There's two? Why is there two of you? We could blow up your torso or your legs. Wow. I imagine the grenade would be like a one-time use. I mean, you hold a grenade, I think everything blows up on it, right? Alrighty, well, we'll wait that for later. Right now, we're gonna start off with the cell phone. Pass it. Look, you got a call. Yeah. Your zombie family's calling to say what's up. Don't want to talk to him, huh? Yeah, she had a falling out with the zombie family. You know, it happens sometimes. Zombies hold a grudge. I'm not sure if you knew that. They hold, they hold a grudge, especially against us humans. So that brought actually your mood up. We need to bring it down below a 90, though. Right now, you should be good to go for... Cell phone neutral. No, we don't. <laughs> That's the best one so far. She ate the cell phone and it's ringing inside of her body. She's freaking out. That is the best reaction so far. We've had a lot of them, but that was good. By the way, I can't believe this cell phone reception still works in the zombie apocalypse. Can we talk about that too? A little bit of an oversight, but I guess we're just like, you know, programming like the alarm to ring so it's kind of like a it's actually ringing um we could do neutral i think and then we have to reduce your hunger and make you happy again for passive so let's do the neutral one first <laughs> no not putting up much of a fight huh yeah you don't like it that way if it doesn't put up much of a fight i'm not really into it Okay, so for passive though, we need 98 moves. You gotta be really, really happy. So I think we could probably raise that and lower the hunger with a kebab. Do you like the kebab? Yes, you do. As a matter of fact, you love the kebab. And then we gotta piss you off for the other ones. <laughs> don't whack it. I know it's dead, but you don't whack the cat. Even if it was alive, don't whack the cat. Alrighty, so she gave it a little gentle whack right there, apparently. We got that, we got the other one, so now it's a matter of pissing you off. So for the aggressive one, what are we looking at? We're looking at two or less, we gotta get you really angry. 32 or more, and hunger 34 or less. So we gotta keep you kind of in the state that you are right now when it comes to everything else, but just piss you off otherwise. Oh, your jaw's missing. Oh, man, I just noticed that. You know what it is then? It's a crowbar or the baseball bat that knocks the jaw off then. Ah, uh, I don't think you'll be able to, unless you do, unless you don't try to eat the cat. Okay, cool. You don't need the jaw for that. I'm sorry, Red. You're going to have to go next. Man. <laughs> oh my god, why? What? The zombie's really aggressive. You saw the passive one was a whack. And over here, you picked it up like some sort of like schoolyard bully and you punched it out till you ripped his tail off. I'm kind of glad I'm getting rid of you after all. You're, you're mean. You're just a mean zombie. I'm about to call you an animal, but you're not. You're worse than an animal. Oh, that wasn't aggressive. Wait a second. So, 10% or less mood. Hunger. Oh, you gotta be really hungry. You know what? She's gonna try to eat it. And because of the jaw missing, we're not gonna be able to do it. I'm sure that's what's gonna happen. All right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get another zombie then, because I know I won't be able to do it anyway. I just have a feeling. So you know what? How about we try a grenade? Since we need a new one anyway. All right. What do you guys think? Grenade to the torso or to the legs? We've seen plenty of legs being removed, right? I'm kind of curious about what happens to the torso. Oh my god! Damn. That's a shame. I need to get a new specimen from the storage room. Well, that's what happens. <laughs> That's what happens. How about we get big and ugly over here? 
Man, you, you've been through a lot already, my friend, and I'm about to do even more worse to you, I gotta tell you. So let's just get the specimen thing out of the way over here. <clears throat> okay, I think we got it for the aggressive cell phone zero mood. 96 hunger. Let's give it the old try. Yeah, you see? Had we, um, given... <gasps> what? Oh my god! I take it back. That might be the best reaction thus far. And if I thought it was kind of funny, it was kind of like freaking out with this um, cell phone inside. Literally punching your stomach in and pulling it out is even better. That's pretty freaking awesome. You're a pretty cool uh, zombie, dude, I gotta tell you. And it works out because he's already so beat up, it kind of goes hand in hand with everything else. Alright, so let's see here. 100 mood and 100 humanity. The specimen must have extensively developed his voice. Yeah, we've already done that. So... Oh. Wait a minute. With various items to understand and repeat words? Extremely difficult, but I must persevere. Would that be like the microphone and like the barking? Wait, we don't. We as humans don't bark, but that's kind of intriguing. Um, I'll, I'll try to get it up and see. <laughs> I mean, I'll try to get the mood and the humanity up, and see if we could do that one. Okay, I think we got a hundred and a hundred just now. So objects? No, no, we're looking for. Well, yeah, let's give. Let's get the cell phone and see if we can do the advanced one. I don't think we can, but let's see. Hello, oh, we can! Aunt Alicia. Hello. Hello, Aunt Alicia. Hello, Aunt Alicia. Fascinating. I guess all we needed was the microphone one. And him hearing music and stuff like that. Perfect. Try to talk. That's even more impressive than the barking, I gotta tell you. Alright, so that's done. And we should be able to also do... The cat advanced. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll get you a live one. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he's kind of cute in a very grotesque way, isn't he? All right, so we got everything then other than the grenade. We don't want to do that because obviously it'll kill him. Um, so we want to use this one for the next couple of items that we'll get. So what we need to do to advance, one and one. Okay, so let's do the... Notes here. So far, the story's been developing pretty cool, though. I'm liking how, like, I'm everything's kind of, like, out research. of whack and out of order. What have we got here? Diary number 39. I've been on this project for some time now, and I've grown to distress Walker and the agency. This phase 1-2 crap is nonsense. I feel like I'm being used against my will. Even if it's my job, I wouldn't willingly work on a weaponized virus. If I'm pushed to the wall, I don't know what I'll do. Well, that's technically what we've been doing the entire time, because it does seem like research we're the ones... ready to be reviewed. We're the ones kind of like, um, that created the virus to try to control human thought. This is Lori Benedict, lead scientist on Project Flatline. I've been assigned here to find and correct the flaws in the S14 virus strain prototype. I need to prevent some serious, undesired side effects and find a cure if the virus itself cannot be modified. The samples will be here in a few days. This is my most important assignment, a career maker. For archiving purposes, I'll record individual tapes and date them accordingly. Day 62. I had a serious argument with Private Quinn today. He beat me up. When someone can't use his rational mind to be right, I guess he must rely on brute strength. I talked to Captain Wood about it, and he just told me to suck it up and stick to my goddamn research. He's giving me a week to show him results, or he's shutting me down. They don't care anymore. Reduced to scared animals. They struggle to find a meaning in all of this, and find none. I think we're getting very desperate, um, scientists for one. Hmm. Well, going back to what, um, Lori said, though. So, that's what happened. They created the virus to try to control human thought, right? To make people more complacent, maybe it's like a weaponized virus for like military operations, you know. Tell me what you know, and obviously they'll just tell them. But in the process, they created zombies instead. And then Lori was brought in to try to cure the virus in a way that it's not going to turn people into like, you know, mindless zombies. But still be able to control the thought. And here we are now. So I wonder if we're playing cleanup, just trying to get rid of it altogether. Or if we're also kind of like trying to progressive. To progress it a bit to... Well, no, I mean... Civilization is just about dead, right? So it failed completely, and we're trying to just find a cure at this point. 
for the screw-up. I think that's what it is. So I feel that my time is running out with these goons. I've thought of the items that I may need. Taser and Cat Alive, and apparently we got beat up by a... by a soldier as well. Taser. And that's gonna be a, a weapon probably, right? So let's see here. Research. Items. Live kitty cat. And for this we need... Humanity, 275 or more, we got it. Hunger, 12 or less, got it. Mood, 100. So, oh, we need mood, 100. So, I need to make you happy, but keep your hunger low. I think the... I think you like the book. Is that right? Yes, mood plus... Is that is that 100, though? Yeah, it's 100, perfect. So, now we should be able to do the kitty cat. Pass it. Oh, no, it scratched him. Oh, that can't be good. The cat ain't having any of this nonsense. No, no, man, you don't put me here with zombies. I barely like humans as it is. You know, cats are, you know, they're a little bit smug. Cats are smug, let's be honest here. Dogs are more loyal. Cats could be a little bit smug. I've had cats beds before. And even though, you know, they're adorable and everything, they have their mood, you know? They, little, they, they, they act like their, their, their crap don't stink. Um... Default state. So for this one, all we need to do is just, um, drop it, the mood. Oh, which is at 96 already. Perfect. We should be able to do that now. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's just freaking adorable now. Okay. I think they're saving all the best reactions for last. That is just freaking adorable. <laughs> His mood went up too. Kitty cat on head? Me like. I mean, I could actually do that zombie voice now because we know that this guy could actually repeat human speech. So, hey, it works now. It applies. Aggressive, we need to p piss you off and make you really hungry, so... I think, um, that should be fairly easy as long as I don't break your jaw off. Okay. And then the other one's just a taser. Well, let's try the taser then, uh, see how this works. So, taser. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I know, buddy. Well, that was the... the passive. So we could do it again, and this will be neutral. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit funny. It's a little bit funny. I won't lie. But you see, it's dropping the mood and um, increasing the hunger, which is perfect. So we could even bring... The, if we could bring you down to a zero, we'll do taser. We'll do the cat, and then we'll go back up to pa um, good mood and do the advanced ones. Well, at least for the cat. Okay, so I think we got zero mood. So this would be the aggressive, um, taser one. Wow, right to the head. So is the zombie the one supposed to be aggressive here, or are, or are we? Because we just got tased that dude in the head. Then again, and I like his brain's functioning. Well, I guess technically the brain is functioning. And the only reason the zombie is alive is because the brain is still functioning, right? As you attack the brain, it dies. That was an aggressive reaction on our part, not the zombie. So, that's done. Let's go over to food now. And I think we should also be able to do live kitty cat now. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Remember what he did to that puppy? Maybe the cat's smug enough to escape. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. You, you, oh, what are you, some sort of Viking warrior? I will dine on your blood after I rip your head off, stinking cat. <laughs> oh my god. That was vicious. Alright, well, now we gotta get you, what, happy again? A hundred mood, a hundred humanity. No hunger. The specimen must have developed in a, an advanced feel for softness and on the bunny and the teddy bear. He has. So, oh, you're gonna be really happy with this kitty cat then, huh? So, mood a hundred, humanity a hundred. He's gonna get you in a good mood. And apparently also reduce your hunger to a zero. So we just gotta feed you a lot for that one. And then... Well, that's the only one, right? Because we did the taser. All right. Okay, I think we're, we're at 100, 104 here, which should be enough. Advanced reaction. Oh, hunger's got to be zero completely. Oh, okay, well. Um... Would just an apple alone not reduce your humanity and mood? Oh, no, it did, it did quite the opposite. Okay, hold up. So I guess we'll have to give you the kebab. Okay, good. That, that's... Got it! Okay. I was like, the thing about raw meat is that it reduces their humanity because you're giving them raw meat, so you're dehumanizing them even though they're already a zombie, if that makes any sense. So, Life Kitty. Advanced reaction. Yeah, it's soft. Yeah. Be nice to it. 
<laughs> he, sca he scattered and scampered away, that's awesome. Oh, he was looking away like, oh, come back, kitty cat. To be honest with you, though, I, I enjoyed the, the neutral one the best. The one where it got on top of its head. It was just so freaking adorable. Alrighty, well, we're done here. Now we just need to progress the day over. I mean, we still have a couple of, like, you know, killing weapons to do. The grenade would obviously destroy him, but I still want to use him because he's already, like, you know, tamed for the other object. I know for a fact we get a life. Oh, no, that was Life Kitty. Hey, could we be coming to the end? We could be coming to the end for all I know. Unless they give me some more items suddenly. So we have um, two tapes and then one node. Let's get those out of the way here. And we'll continue the next day. My research. Hmm. What's this? Top secret eyes only. The following 24 pages contain large scale spread estimate of the S15 virus. Remember, the S14 was the zombie thing initially. Now we have an S15. Based on statistical models, which include behavior variables and approximated transportation models. All estimates are under the assumption that the virus spreads without the initial public knowledge, allowing normal transportation pattern to take effect. We're stuck in the south wing as the outbreak rages in the rest of the complex. I fear that some specimens or infected people will leave the complex. Damn them all. I can't continue my research. I just can't. Huh. All right. My research is... Peter is still unaccounted for. If he dies, he could infect a lot more people. This could turn into a nightmare. Shit. And I'm obsessed with the S14 genetic design. It's evil. I can't believe we'd come to handle such a devastating genetic device. Day 64. I, I got a death threat today, a note in my lab. Although the note is anonymous, I do wonder if Private Quinn has the intellect to realize how unsubtle he is. Did Captain Wood talk to him? Maybe Wood still cares after all. That seems unlikely. <laughs> is that the note? Hey, freak! You better watch your back, Frankenstein, because you're going to get what's coming to you. I'm not going to die for you, a-ho. You a dead man, Tyler. Your worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, probably could be, huh? Oh, we got more items. Chainsaw and firecrackers. Well, at least we're getting, like, less, like, objects to test with. Because we know that the chainsaw would be, like, another... Ruin the specimen completely by, you know, chainsawing something away. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series as well. I've gotten a lot of, like, um, positive feedback from you guys on it. So, as I mentioned, if you guys continue to enjoy this the entire way through, we'll probably give the other games that are part of the entire series a try. I think there's, like, Road, Road of the Dead and Range of the Dead. I think there's, like, two Roads of the Dead, if I'm correct. But either way, um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I will catch you next time.